Hello everyone. Uh, so today I'm going to tell you and give you a brief introduction regarding the subject that is applications to soft computing, which we are going to study. Uh, in applications to soft computing, uh, when we say this particular subject, it comprises of, you know, uh, soft computing, first thing, introductory part, and then it comprises of uh, three techniques which are being elaborated on that is, first one is neural network, second one is fuzzy logic, and genetic algorithm. The complete syllabus is based on these particular three techniques. The first two units are based on neural network, third and fourth unit are based on fuzzy logic, and fifth unit is based on the third technique that is called as the genetic algorithm. In first unit, we are going to study the introductory part of neural network, that is the introduction, the architecture, the basic uh, biological neuron, artificial neuron, and so many things. Then we have the neural network second part, which is in second unit. It includes the back propagation network. It includes the XOR problem, linear separability problem, and uh, further uh, memory, associative memory, and descriptive memory. In unit three, we are going to study about the introductory part of fuzzy logic, that is the fuzzy logic one. Fourth unit, we have the uh, advanced version of fuzzy logic, that is second part, which includes the membership function and uh, the rules regarding the fuzzy sets. And fifth unit is including the complete genetic algorithm. It is the uh, defining the process of a genetic algorithm, the uh, operators we are using in genetic algorithm and the applications of genetic algorithm. So basically this is the uh, syllabus of this subject. Now when I talk about the lesson plan of the subject, uh, I say that uh, in you, I'm just giving you a prox figure of lectures, figure or number of lectures I'm going to cover the units in. That is first unit will be covered in 11 lectures. Second unit I'll be taking seven lectures. I'll be taking 11 lectures on third unit, then on fourth unit, I'll take seven lectures, and in complete fifth unit, I'll take seven lectures. So approximately, it is in giving you the 42 lectures, and there will be including of class tests also, so there will be around 45 lectures and numerical problems considering. Now, uh, you can just see in the basic units, that is network, Neural network introduction wale part me. I have given lectures liye hai just to uh, make sure that you make your foundation strong in basics. And I will give you complete time to make you understand the basics of these particular units because these are the completely new terms and terminologies techniques for you students. Now, uh, apart from the syllabus, I have just to find out that. Uh, the two topics are missing in this subject as you have not studied the artificial intelligence part. So you are not very much aware about the artificial intelligence in detail. You are like uh, aware of artificial intelligence as a, just the applications and you are not aware about it, how it is being used. And second thing, it is the difference between the hard computing and soft computing. Why I just want to uh, you know, make you aware of these difference is just because it will help you to make out that why we are switching over to soft computing. Why do we need actually soft computing? Why hard computing was not enough for us? So this is the basic agenda of this beyond syllabus topics I'm going to cover. And I am going to cover these topics in my lecture sessions only. So uh, now what are the outcomes of this course? The outcomes, I have just prepared five outcomes based on each unit I have defined one outcome. So basically I have, we have five units and we have five course outcomes. So first unit, on the basis of first unit, the first outcome is at the end of the course, the students will be able to learn about soft computing techniques and their applications. On the basis of neural network unit, we have the students will be able to analyze various neural network architectures. In third unit, we have just the uh, you know introductory part for fuzzy logic. So the students will be able to define the concept of fuzzy logic. Fourth, we have uh, the 
advanced version of fuzzy logic, advanced part that is membership function. So here at the end of the course, the student will be able to apply the membership function in simple engineering problems. And for fifth one, that is genetic algorithm, that at the end of the course, the students will be able to explore the genetic algorithm basics as an optimization technique. So these are the five course outcomes. Now I have just included that uh, which textbooks and reference book we are going to use. Textbook uh, maximum students and which is easy also. I will also prefer that you students can use this particular book as uh, your textbook for the subject that is S. Rajesh Karan and G. A. Vijayalakshmi Pai. This is uh, for neural network, fuzzy logic and genetic algorithm. All three are covered in this. The syllabus is completely covered in this particular, you know, book. And uh, next book is based on artificial intelligence and intelligent systems. That is uh, by N. P. Padi, that is of Oxford University Press. But it does not complete uh, or consider the complete syllabus as it is from the subject. And we have uh, some reference books also. Simon Hagen for neural network. We have Timothy Jeros for fuzzy logic in the engineering applications, and we have Kumar Satish of neural network. Basically, the Simon Hicken and the Kumar Satish is for neural network, and Timothy is for fuzzy logic. So uh, we have next as evaluation scheme for the subject. Internal will be taken from 50 marks, that is maximum marks of internal will be 50. And uh, we are going to take the percentage, that weighted percentage, how much will be considered for marks. That is CT1. There will be three CTs, CT1, CT2, and CT3. So all these three CTs are of weighted percentage. Then we have two home assignments, that is of 33%. CT1 will be based on unit one. CT2 will be based on unit two. Assignment 12 will be based on unit three and assign CT3 will be based on unit four and home assignment two will be based on unit five. So in this way, we have covered all the five units, three with the CTs and two with the assignments. Then we have sessional uh, test that will be based on unit one, two and three. That is of 20% weightage and ST2 has given 30% weightage and this is based on all the units that is complete syllabus. So that makes 50%, 20 for ST1 and 30 for ST2. And lastly, the attendance, that is the weightage for attendance is given as 20%. That's all uh, for this particular subject. Thank you very much.